Mark Lowry. Hey, buddy. What a surprise. Hey, how are you? Imagine Mark Lowry calling R me. Rick Altizer. <laughs> I had no idea you were going to be calling. So I'm sitting here on the phone from, where are you, Rick? I'm in Nashville. You're in Nashville. I'm in Houston. Nashville. I'm in my Lazy Boy. And last night, I watched the brand new Russ Taft movie called I Still Believe. And Rick is the director, writer, producer of this documentary. He also did Shonda Pierce's two documentaries. What other doc, uh, work, film work have you done? That's it. That's all I've ever done. Those three. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, That's what got, what got you into this? Uh, Shonda. I was uh, working with Shonda, helping with her marketing. And Shonda wanted, said, she told me, I want to be in movies. And I said, well, I can't really make a movie for you, but I could make a demo tape. Remember back in the days when you were trying to get a record deal, you do a little yeah. three cassette demo right. tape? Right, right. So I said, why don't I go on the road with you and we'll do five minutes and we'll send it. Maybe a movie company will want to make movies with you, you know. And so I went on the road with her and we did six. Yeah, I ended up getting 16 minutes. And it was so it was more than five. And uh, her manager, Andrew Tenenbaum, and herself took me to a pizza place. And they sat me down. They said, Rick, we think you need to make this. We want you to make it. We, we love what you've done. We think you're. And so she just believed in me. She had this faith in me that I could tell her story. Yeah. And uh, so we made that movie. It wins an award. Best documentary feature at the uh, Park City International Film Festival. So it wins an award. Make the second one. And then obviously from that, Russ and Tori, uh, we, we communicated and kind of went from there so it was just one of those things so how did you how did you pick russ i mean what just is was it his story that compelled you well i had worked with russ pr uh, prior i was i i had a career in the music industry and i had produced russ on a couple of projects where i had produced him and so we had gotten to know each other and he had said once hey rick i sure would like it if you would do a record with me and so we had always talked about doing a record together and so when I had a radio show, which you've been on, I've interviewed you on my radio show. Uh, uh, I interviewed Russ a couple years ago. And then from that, it just turned into a conversation. They had seen what I'd done with Shonda. And they kind of liked, Tori and Russ kind of liked the way I had communicated Shonda's story. And so the conversation started about what would it look like if we did a movie together? What would that look like? And so we kind of picked it up from there and so here I am now, three in the can, but uh, I'm very, very proud of this movie. It's just the message. And, and Russ and Tori have been so unbelievably brave. Yes. Tell this story. It has just been, wow, what they're willing to say makes it so powerful. So we're really praying that this just touches people, helps people come out of hiding, helps people uh, who are dealing with shame, who yeah. are bound came to find that there's healing in Christ. There really is. So that's what we made. That's why we made the movie. Well, it's going to be playing everywhere October 30th or where? Yeah, October 30th. It's in about, uh, right now it's about 720 theaters. We're hoping that's going to be, you know, 750 by the time it shows October 30th. And you can go to RustTaffMovie.com to find the theater near you and tickets. <laughs> yes, you can. And I want to encourage everybody to go see it. I watched it last night and I was in tears. I laughed. I, uh, I couldn't believe I was the first one in the movie to say, and he's an alcoholic. Did you know you did that? Yes, I did. Why did you make me the first one to say that? Well, you said it. I don't, it whoever sees the movie, you get all the, the, the ten, I call it the ten dollar lines. I give you all the ten dollar lines. You, you really shine every time you come on. You 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 kind of seem to be able to punctuate what is going on. And so I, I just thought it was an interesting way. We, we, we open up talking about Russ and what a great singer he is. We kind of get yeah. a little bit of a praise fest there. I know, I know, I know. I, that's what I told Tori. I said, you know, yeah. Bart Millard was on there saying he I, he was my hero. He's sitting on the front row. And then I come on here and he's an alcoholic. We got, we got, first we go Amy Grant, yeah. Michael W. Smith, Bill Gaither, uh, Michael Tate, Bart Millard. And then, you know, then we have you. 
And you say the same thing. I love Russ Taff. He's one of my favorite people. He's a legend. So you do that and then you go, and he just happens to be an alcoholic. Boom, right there. We go right to, to you know, now we've, we've opened up our movie that this isn't a praise fest movie. Right. You know, is it going to be, it oh, would... that Russ Taff, what a singer. Man, that guy sure could sing. Wow. What, you know, right. oh, I heard a voice like Russ Taff. I mean, that's great, but I have no interest in making a movie like that. Mm -mm. You know, about what a great singer Russ Taff is. Obviously, we're going to make a movie about Russ Taff. We've got to talk about what a great, amazing singer he is. But there's that's just not what this movie's about. Right. This movie's about the redemptive, powerful work of Jesus Christ in how he healed and redeemed Russ and Tori. And uh, that's the star of the movie is Jesus. And yes, that's the truth. One, from day one, that was our discussion. I said to Russ, I said, I'll make a movie. It'll have your name in the title. I'll put you in the movie, but it's not going to be about you. This movie will not be about Russ Taff. It'll be about the powerful, redemptive work of Jesus Christ. And so that is the prayer. And boy, Russ and Tori were all about that. Oh, Russ, yes. You know Russ. Yeah. You know better than I do. And you know that he is just not all about Russ Taff. Let me That's tell you, I tell everybody this. He is one of the most Christ-like people I know. Because he doesn't want the praise. He doesn't want a movie uh -uh. about him. When he heard me say, I won't make a movie about you, it's going to be about the powerful, redemptive work of Jesus Christ, he lit up. And that was, I think for him, that was what, this is our confirmation. This is what we want. So I think that's why they, the three of us knew God put us together for this time, for this message, for us is finally, you know, telling his story, which for so many years was in hiding. He was in hiding about, and uh, just a powerful, powerful story. And uh, RustTaffMovie dot com. Russ Taff me. I'll have the. I'll have it right below your head the whole time when I show this. <laughs> Rick Russ Altizer Taff is my guest, and also tell him about Dave's uh, web uh, YouTube channel. Tell, uh, what is that? Kon Konica. Kinotika, Kinotika, K-I-N-O-T-I-K-A. K -I -N -O -T -I -K -A. It's uh, Kinotika, Dave Altizer. You can yeah, just go to YouTube and type in Dave my Altizer. Son, my son has a, a YouTube page where he reviews camera gear. Which I love, you know. I he just got back from Germany, and he's uh, a little bit, starting to become a little bit of a celebrity in that camera world, so <laughs> he's doing great. And then my other son, Matthew, uh, is up in New York, and he's... Uh, He's uh, doing mission work in New York. He's okay. in Albany, where they have 3% of Albany are evangelical Christian. 3%. Wow. So he's knocking on doors and asking people if he can pray for them and starting uh, small churches in New York. So I got, I'm so proud of both of my boys. Well, Rick, you're doing a good job, good work, and I love the movie. I want to recommend to everybody, please go see that movie as soon as you can. It is an incredible, I mean, just the camp, the documentary, your work of the documentary, of the shots, the, uh, the B-roll, all the things I've learned since I've been learning to edit, it, it just, I enjoyed it all. It was a well done movie, and I know the Jones family is going to be so proud uh, when they see their father uh, in this movie. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah. So yep. Go see it, everybody. October 30th. Shame is a prison. I was locked up in shame's prison for over 40 years. Behind its bars, I was safe, isolated, and hiding from pain. Disconnected from my family and everyone I ever loved. Abused as a child, Shame told me that it was my fault. Singing for Jesus and living a secret life as an alcoholic. Shame whispered, there is no hope. But prison doors were made to be open. Captives can be set free. I learned the gospel was greater than I could have possibly imagined. I am a child of the King. I am broken. I'm an alcoholic. I'm forgiven. I'm Russ Taff, and I still believe.
I believe. I believe.